This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Do not enter Pacifica under any circumstances. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. Mix it up with Romantic War. 16 Romantic War. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. Partner, Detective Hawk. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Mr. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over her. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. I'll take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. What? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. 
Shamed? Nah. This is not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. All right, you got it. Ninety percent of any detective's job is talking. And the other ten percent, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyberpsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, forty-two. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact too, actually. Come on, V. I'll start from the left, you take the right.
Christine Markov. Hey, what's up? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tank over on the other side. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? No, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I open your mouth one day and corporal muscle or gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath. Worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was back. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look. If I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath, gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Let's move. So Let's go. Horvath saw it. Who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan, a uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence. Or maybe air-dispersed poison. A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen. Hey, gentlemen, please. Please. <laughs> Jump, clown. Jump! And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? A 
a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. I'm assuming you're still on board. You kidding? Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? Proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. General inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Red Queen's Race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, it means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. No. Said I was done. I was out. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed broke all my fingers. Fingers? I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right! Jesus! Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure, thanks.
Monvi. 